Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We talked a little bit ago about how Warzone Mobile was officially revealed. Uh, basically, Call of Duty came out with a new blog post saying, hey, we're making Warzone for mobile. It's not going to be out for a while, but we've got, you know, a closed alpha coming up and it's going to be a thing over time. And now I think about two weeks ago or so, they actually announced that they were sending out closed alpha invites to various people. Now, part of the closed alpha was that you're not allowed to record. You're just there to test the game out and give them feedback and whatnot. But of course, people are not great at listening to directions. So some people ended up recording it. Warzone Mobile gameplay has now leaked. And today we're going to talk about what exactly stemmed from those gameplay leaks. There's some very interesting things. The return of Verdansk, uh, different gameplay elements, all sorts of stuff like that. As we break it all down, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, every day I got you covered with everything going on in COD. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. So first things first, the biggest news out of all of this is that yes, Verdansk has in fact returned, but obviously it's only in Warzone Mobile. We are on Caldera for the long haul here until Warzone 2 happens. Beyond that, who knows? You know, uh, it, things could happen where they bring back Verdansk. Maybe they alternate maps on the old Warzone in the future, but Warzone 2 obviously is going to be the primary focus once that drops. Warzone Mobile, though, the return of Verdansk is something that we've wanted to see for quite some time, but of course it's limited to just this mobile version of the game which of course is not going to actually officially be here for a long time now. We're just now in the closed alpha, as I said, which means the game's going to have to finish the alpha stage, then, you know, get worked on some, go into the beta stage, get worked on more, and then ultimately release. So I imagine maybe we'll get a release for Warzone Mobile towards the end of this year or sometime in 2023. And when that happens, things are going to be very interesting. We'll get to that in just a moment, but let's talk about the information we actually learned from these various leaks. Uh, I'm not going to be showing anything on screen here because some of the Twitter posts about it have already been taken down by Activision. So we'll just be breaking down what I was able to see from those leaks and what surfaced from them. Initially, it did look like there were 150 players in the game. So curiously enough, more players in Warzone Mobile than what we're able to have in Warzone now because of the laggy servers and everything going on with that. So uh, 150 players and honestly, from what I was able to see, I won't lie, it's, uh, it's very bad quality because for some reason in 2022, every single leak comes from someone recording with their 240p phone camera. I don't know why this happens every single time something big leaks. That's just the case. Uh, but from what we were able to partially see from this footage that was uploaded, uh, it is basically the OG Verdansk, not Verdansk 84, the OG Modern Warfare 2019 version of Verdansk with downtown, there was dam, there were all those other locations. So it was the full size map and essentially looked like it was a one to one of Warzone as far as the like gameplay basics go, I guess you could say with the contracts, with the map layout, the mechanics, everything like that, as far as like parachuting, gunfights and all that go. Of course though, when you're playing on mobile versus when you're playing on keyboard and mouse or controller, you're a lot more limited in what exactly you can actually uh, try and do in gameplay. So things like mounting and pinging and looting and all sorts of stuff like that basically just ends up being HUD options. So while you're playing this game on presumably a mobile device, which you know necessarily doesn't always have a huge screen unless you're playing on like an iPad or something or a tablet of some kind, you get a ton of new HUD options that seem to take up a lot of the screen. I feel like that'd be very obnoxious to play. Like there was just so many different options to choose from when it comes to what you wanted to do with gameplay because you can't press up on the D-pad. You don't have, you know, a full keyboard uh, to have all these different keybinds. So that's something that's gonna be very interesting to see if it evolves over time because it, it is very limited as is. I'm not sure how much more they can go with the HUD and the controls and whatnot, but Based off of this initial alpha gameplay, keyword alpha gameplay, it looks kind of messy. Also, I guess sort of piggybacking off of that, if you look at Call of Duty Mobile and where that's at now, uh, obviously you're playing it on mobile, sort of self-explanatory, right? But there is a way to emulate the game on PC and actually play it with a controller or with keyboard and mouse if you wanted to, which obviously gives the players who do that uh, a major advantage playing against other more casual players on a phone or on a tablet. I'd be curious to see if the same situation is going to arise for Warzone Mobile, because if you're able to emulate that game on a PC and play with full controls on a controller, a scuff controller or a full keyboard and mouse, you know, uh, you're going to dominate the entire lobby, like just straight up. That sort of leads into my next point, 
Uh, when Warzone Mobile was first announced, we talked a lot about the possibility of crossplay, seeing the Warzone Mobile players jump into games with those on PlayStation and Xbox and PC in the future with, you know, Warzone 2, presumably. Based off the information now in this alpha, unless they just have like a major day one launch update planned for Warzone Mobile, I don't even think the games are going to be connected simply because of Verdansk, <laughs> curiously enough. Like if they're playing on Verdansk and Warzone Mobile, we know present day in Warzone, Verdansk does not exist. It was blown up uh, before we went obviously to Caldera. So we don't have that map necessarily available in the canon storyline. And we know for sure in MW2, we're getting that full brand new Warzone map that consists of various old MW points of interest like High Rise and Favela and Terminal and all those other locations. We know it's not going to be Verdansk. So unless, you know, day one of Warzone Mobile, they're going to say, all right, Verdansk was just the alpha map. Now we're dropping the full on new Warzone map that's also featured in Warzone 2. And there's crossplay. I don't think the games are necessarily going to be intertwined like we thought they would be. And I won't lie, that to me is very strange because the mobile audience, the mobile demographic is massive. Call of Duty Mobile is the most successful Call of Duty project right now, more so than any of the premium multiplayer games, more so than Warzone. The game is massive. It brings in so much of their yearly revenue versus all the other things that Activision Blizzard work on. It's absolutely insane. So to then, you know, go for Warzone Mobile, but then not connect it to your main game to boost up those numbers in the main game even more, that to me is very confusing and kind of weird knowing how uh, advantageous Activision is when it comes to figuring out what the best game plan is to make the most money in any given year, right? Like clearly they are very money oriented. So that to me uh, is something that I'm a bit uh interested in seeing how they go about that of course being that this is just the closed alpha we are a ways away from seeing the end goal and the end plans for this game long term we'll see if it ever connects to warzone but based off of this information now it does look like there would one be just some severe skill gaps between the mobile game and the regular version of the game for console and pc that'd be apparent as is if there was crossplay, like how fortnite does mobile crossplay with the base game but especially based off of how this game looks to be built so far with all the weird HUD controls and everything going on, that'd just be wild to be in a lobby where you're a very good player and you got, you know, 75 mobile players in your game. That's just free kills a lot of the time. So very curious to see how they approach this one over time. But yeah, with all that being said, that is effectively everything we just learned about the new Warzone mobile game via the closed alpha leaks that just surfaced. And that's going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every day I got you covered with all things going on in COD. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. That way you can always stay up to date. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. The links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.